G'day everyone and welcome to my art channel Brushes with Beck. In today's video I am drawing a cute little bird which is called a white-throated gerigony. I had the absolute pleasure of seeing this bird for the first time this week because there was one that uh, had been seen in our state. They are a rare visitor to South Australia so it was an absolute pleasure to see this bird for the very first time. And they have an absolutely beautiful little song which I will include uh, towards the end of this video. So stick around to hit listen to that. So for today's piece I am working on Fabriano Artistico hot pressed watercolour paper and I'm using a combination of pencils. I'm using the Faber-Castell Polychromos, the Caran d'Ache Luminance and the Derwent Light Fast. So I'm using a few different colours from each set of pencils um, just to get the, sort of the colour range that I need based on what was just sort of lying around on my desk at the time. So I've started with that beautiful yellow belly and the head on this bird and I'm just going in quite lightly and building up different colour tones in there. You can see the Artistico is a little bit grainy to work on, I find it a little bit grainy and so I'm using a reasonable amount of pressure with the Caran d'Ache uh, Mist colour to try and smooth that out and also the, I think it's Olive Earth 10% to try and uh, smooth out those more grainy areas in the lighter areas and make them more smooth. So I, when I went to see this bird I did have trouble getting some decent photos. I wasn't able to spend a lot of time with the bird. I was quite rushed for time because I drove down after work and had to be back reasonably early for an early start for work the next morning. So I only got a few sort of half decent not very good photos but I thought it'd be a good opportunity to at least draw one of those photos and bring the bird to life that way as well and be able to share it with you guys. So um, yeah I'm using one of the photos that I took on the day I've adjusted uh, the levels a little bit to just make it a little bit more accurate to the scene at the time and I'm following that reasonably closely so I've got the bird in shadow on the left with the sun coming from the right hand side. So the wings are always a complicated part on any bird. You've got a lot of detail and a lot of, a lot of changing colour, a lot of different segments to draw that you need to draw individually but with more and more practice it gets easier over time to uh, isolate those little areas and draw each feather individually while having them look like a con cohesive um, piece because sometimes the feathers can look quite segmented and disjointed but if you use I find that using obviously using the same colors to go through the same process for each of those feathers that are similar in color then it makes it much more cohesive and it looks like they're all sitting in the correct place. So I do ask that if you are enjoying this video that you give it a thumbs up, comment down below and please subscribe to my channel so that you can see a new art video every single week. Now I don't normally drive long distances on a whim to see just one random little bird that shows up but I hadn't done any sort of birding or bird photography since October so I thought I'd allow myself a bit of a treat and go down to see this bird and I'm very glad I did because the very next day um, the bird wasn't seen so whether or not it's still there is questionable so I'm very lucky to have seen it when I did. Now as you can see that wing has come together nicely it's important to keep track of where all those lighter edges are and the shadow from the overlapping feathers and as I said just using the same cohesive colours from feather to feather and having them all look unified. Moving on to the back again working in lightly with my various browns and smoothing out with my mist and my olive earth or whatever it's called 10% just keeping that nice and pale and bright but working in some of those lovely colour tones that were present on the bird. Now I don't often work on uh, Fabriano Artistico hot pressed watercolour paper. I do, I mean I do like smoother papers. 
Artistico I find a little bit uh, challenging. It's You do get that little bit of a funny, grainy, gritty look that I wouldn't expect from a smooth paper like this. And I find it a bit challenging to get rid of at times, although this piece came together very nicely. But I also find that working on a smoother paper is much more of a strain on my hand. And even after working on this piece, which didn't take me overly long because it's only A5, even after working on this piece, I found that my hand was quite sore uh, just from the application of pressure that's required to apply strong color down on paper like this and burnish out to smooth out the grain. Whereas on, I've said it many times before, whereas if I'm working on pastel mat, I can apply color much more easily and I can smooth out color without applying lots of pressure. So it's much easier on my hand. So if you do have trouble with your hand or your wrist or elbow or anything when you're drawing, try different surfaces, different paper surfaces, because it makes an absolute world of difference to, um, to the muscles in your hand. And so that's why I don't work on a smooth paper very often. And it's why I don't work on smooth paper at a large scale. I did try starting an A3 piece once and I had to, I had to stop working on it and I've done an A4 full color piece close up of my cat Jasper's face, which I'll link up in the cards above if you want to see that. That was a lot of work, but it was a lot of strain on my hand. So as you can see, this bird has come together very, very nicely. I just wanted to be able to do a little piece of this bird to help me remember and help capture that, you know, I've actually, I managed to see this beautiful little bird out there in the wild. It was an absolute treat and it has an absolutely beautiful, beautiful song. And I felt very lucky to be able to have photos from which I could draw that bird. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, stick around next week for another video, stay creative, and here's this little bird's beautiful song.